I have always been fascinated by electricity. Since a time when I was old enough to foolishly stick paper clips into wall outlets, I've wanted to know what electricity is and where it comes from. In simplest terms, electricity is an energy source that stems from the accumulation and movement of electric charge. Now in this universe, electric charge comes in two flavors, positive and negative. And that positive and negative charge in turn is communicated by protons and electrons respectively. But at a deeper level, electricity is much, much more than that. It's also the manifestation of electric and magnetic fields. And those fields are in turn manifestations of an even more fundamental and unifying electromagnetic field. There is an inherent symmetry found within electricity and the fields which define it that is undeniably beautiful. It is stated as being the second fundamental force of nature. It is an energy source that powers our modern world and it is a source of power that energizes our modern world. Indeed, without electricity, our modern world would still be in the dark ages, literally. Now most modern conventions describe electricity as something which is transmitted through wires or conductors. But ask anybody who's mistakenly left a fork inside of a microwave oven, and they'll be quick to tell you that it doesn't necessarily need wires or conductors to be transmitted. In fact, even the wires that pump electricity into our homes are not continuous all the way back to the source. That electrical energy must move across countless gaps found within the core of every transformer along the way before it can be seen in our wall outlets. I've always thought the best way to visualize something that can't be seen is to see what that something can do. After all, we really can't see electrons or protons or electromagnetic fields. But with a relatively simple experiment, what we can see is the energy that those things possess. This is an electromagnetic pulse generator, and it presents us a perfect window for peering into the world of the atomic and seeing the energy contained within the fields of electromagnetism. Now the pulse generated by this machine is in fact so powerful that it's capable of literally ripping an aluminum can into pieces. And the way it works is surprisingly simple. Low voltage AC electricity is fed into a transformer. That transformer steps the voltage up to a relatively high level, about 25,000. That high voltage is then fed into a bridge of diodes, and the diodes rectify the voltage, causing it to become polarized. AC becomes DC. The high potential DC voltage is then used to charge a large capacitor. Electrons inside the capacitor are all forced over to one side, and a very strong electric field is established between the plates inside the capacitor. Once charged, the capacitor is short-circuited. This effectively dumps its entire amount of energy through a coil of wire. A strong electric current begins to flow in the coil of wire, and as a result, a very rapidly changing magnetic field is induced. This magnetic field swells up from within the coil of wire itself, and electrical potential energy has just been transformed into magnetic kinetic energy. All this happens very quickly, in less than a thousandth of a second. And an aluminum can placed inside the coil of wire is bathed in the energy provided by the rapidly expanding magnetic field. Electrons inside the can are forced into unified circular motion, and as a result, they too generate their own magnetic field. However, this field is opposite in polarity to the applied field, and because those two fields oppose each other, they also push against each other. This imposes tremendous mechanical stress on the can. All these forces push in, and in the blink of an eye, 
the can implodes. Check this out. And so, in the end, I find myself back where it all began. The place where my fascination with electricity first started. Just over there is the home where I grew up. And these are the fields where I would come as a child to play and to wonder. My father, a lineman like myself, would frequently bring me here. And here I would ask him questions, questions like, what is electricity and where does it come from? And that fascination I felt back then, I still feel today because through all the years of hard work and all the years of study and the math and the physics and the theory <laughs> and the experiments, it all eventually comes full circle. The magic, the mystery and the magnificence of electricity will always be just that magical, mysterious, and magnificent. Because when it comes down to it, electricity is but a fundamental extension of nature itself. One that will never be seen directly, but is just as real as the day. It pervades the universe, and it stems from a dimension that's deeper than our own. It may never be fully understood, but it will always be there to share with us its warmth and its energy. It is an enigma and it is beautiful. And I will always be fascinated by electricity. <laughs>